coins are absolutely ripping. 2x, 3x, 8x, 10x. Across the board, we're seeing astronomical gains here in crypto land, just like I told you would happen. When everyone else was screaming bloody murder that the market was going to zero. And a, a microsecond, whoop, like that. And that there was no reason to be bullish on altcoins. I told everyone repeatedly that not only was I investing and in going against the grain, against what others were saying, but that I was betting on dead narratives, ones that I knew would only remain dead for so long. And today I'm going to be giving you the ultimate keys to the kingdom. I'm going to be giving you my outlook for 2024, my portfolio breakdown, how much I have in cash, how much I have in stable coins, how much I have in each project narrative and how much I'm ready to deploy over the coming months and my outlook for the entire space. This is the ultimate video. These coins could easily go 20, 30, 40x in 2024. And in my opinion, whenever this market decides that it's time to explode through its current resistance, well, you're gonna wanna be well positioned for what happens next. To me, this bull run could be the most life-changing because we have the first legitimized bull run where Wall Street, is truly jumping in. The biggest money bags, the biggest investors on the planet are legitimizing this asset class. And we could see inflows of trillions of dollars into cryptocurrency. You heard me right, trillions. This is the big kahuna. And I believe that if it goes the way I'm hoping it will, 2021 will look like a test pump. But let's be real, we know why you're here. You want those juicy gains, those 50X, 100X, ooh, so, so juicy. But I'll tell you what, that doesn't come without risk. So if you're going to play in the crypto swimming pool, in the deep end of the pool, that's where we're taking you. But you need to understand, we are all gambling for our future here. There is no guarantees. In fact, everyone's predicting this crazy recession, the re-steepening of the yield curve, the depression to end all depressions. We've heard all the rhetoric. And there could very well be this economic event that takes this whole market down. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. If you're going to speculate in crypto, you need to understand that you could lose everything. Everything could go to zero. 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 And that includes every single coin on this list. This is a high risk behavior, but it's one that I believe is the right move. And I've been proven very, very right over the last year. But just because I've been right in the past doesn't mean I'll be right in the future. But that said, I'm going to share with you my plan, my particular choice of actions that I have taken to position myself for 2024, which I believe will have a massive, insane bull run that I hope will make me very, very wealthy. But it could be the case that I'm wrong. And in the case that I'm wrong, you need to understand that you're buying a YouTuber's coins. That's just what you're doing here. So if you want to really be an adult and grow into this space, you need to learn about the mindset that I'm going to teach you in this video, which will allow you to find your own coins, to find your own path through this industry. And that's how you truly separate from the herd and make incredible gains. But that said, we all know the US dollar is going to zero. zero. The world forces us to gamble and speculate to break free financially. And so that's why we're all here. If we could work a nine to five pulling pints and have everything we wanted in life, we would do that, but we can't. So here we are letting it ride in crypto land, hoping for a better life, for a better future. That's why I'm here and that's why everyone's here. And if you're excited for that, let's go. You know what to do. Absolutely destroy that like button and leave a comment in the comment section below with your Twitter handle and make sure you reply to my tweet because we're gonna be going through and giving away one NFT worth over a thousand dollars to someone who comments here. Okay, let's get into this. First of all, how much do I have in cash and how much do I have in crypto? As you guys know, I've been doing T-bills and chill for quite a bit of time now, which pretty much means I've been throwing my money in treasuries and waiting for the market to give me signs. And that worked for a while. I mean, Uncle Sam has really been paying out on that debt, but that doesn't go on forever. And in fact, we know that T-bills and chill was bound to come to an end. And I believe we're at the point where rotating out of treasuries and into risk assets is going to net a much bigger dividend. Again, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to get absolutely punished by this market. But that's been my play. And I've been doing that since we saw the bank bailouts in March aggressively. So in treasuries right now, I have about 55% of my assets and I'm rotating them gradually into assets that I believe in. But right now, this is the split. I have a 55-45 right now in effectively cash or cash equivalents that are earning interest. And then I have 45% of my assets in crypto. Now, maybe that makes me a degen. That's just my particular setup. You do whatever you want to do. Now, I've been DCAing into the market, but I still have a good chunk of cash on the side. Now, it was actually more like 50% of my cash that I had put into the market, but everything's pumped so hard, so aggressively, that it's actually ended up with about 70% of my total allocation is in the market. So I adjusted this number up because the market's been pumping hard. All right, onto the fun stuff. This is the crypto barbell. I have my high conviction plays, which is about 75 
25% of my bag. And I have my zero infinity bucket here, which is of course the lower conviction stuff, but stuff that can go to the absolute moon. You see in crypto, the way it works is stuff can go literally a thousand X. It can go up so much, but it can also disintegrate into dust. Those projects are super high risk. And then you look at things like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Well, you know, they're going to be around. You know, they're going to come back. You know, they're going to last and stand the test of time, but they're just not going to go a thousand X. That's absolutely crazy. Like Bitcoin, I'm looking at maybe a five X on this particular run. Ethereum, I'm hoping for 10 X. And I'll give you some bearings on the rest of my high conviction bucket, which is where I have the majority of my assets. Because guess what? I sleep well at night when I think, hey, look, the majority of my assets, which is not an insignificant amount of my overall wealth in the world. Because look, the majority of my assets in crypto, which is not a small amount of my assets in the world are riding in things that I'm like, okay, cool. Like even if it drops aggressively or gets some horrific news, I think it's coming back and it's going to be bigger and badder than ever. Even if I have to wait for a significant amount of time for that to happen. This is my crypto barbell. And this is why I'm able to actually go so crazy in this zero infinity bucket and not worry about it because I know, hey, look at the worst case, I lose 25% of my 45%. I'm going to survive. I'm going to survive fam. And I'm actually going to thrive because the reality is that you don't lose all this. It doesn't all go to zero. Some of these end up being massive winners and offsetting the risk of the other ones. That's why the zero infinity bucket actually works. Because if you don't have the infinity part there, then it messes up your odds. You need to have it so that if you hit one, even if it's one out of 10, one out of 20 that you hit, it needs to be able to actually print some insane gains. And that's why I believe having coins in zero infinity bucket allows you to truly play these asymmetric odds. Okay, enough of that. So here's the breakdown of my safe or high conviction portfolio. And I've told you guys about this before. On July 11th, I made a video saying my safe portfolio is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Coinbase stock. And here's the rough breakdown of how these uh, allocations have gone. And just so you know, I have about almost all of my Solana allocated. It's actually closer to 80% now because this thing has absolutely ripped. It's up 8X from the lows. But Coinbase stock has been doing some amazing things. Actually, Ethereum has been the most sluggish of all of them. Um, but Bitcoin's been obviously crushing it as well. On July 11th here, Solana was 22 bucks. And I told you guys I had been buying here in the teens uh, and low 20s. And it came down again and revisited these $17 price points before boom, going onwards and upwards and hitting 65 bucks. In my opinion, Solana is looking really, really, really pumpy. And that's because I gave you all the reasons why I like Solana last video, but effectively, it's an amazing community, great tech. It takes a totally different approach from Ethereum to be fast on chain and have everything on one base layer chain. And one of the things I love about it is that it's this massively hated rally. It's got this association with Sam Bankman Freed, which I accurately predicted would keep a lot of people from betting on it. And of course, it pissed people off as it went on this absolutely insane run. Coinbase stock actually has one of the craziest looking charts. As you can see, once it breaks through this like 111 level that it's at, there's pretty much air up until 150. And then when it breaks through that, you just have level to level, the 200s. And if it makes a new high, it would literally be in the 400s. This is an absolutely nuts chart and we just got the word that CZ at Binance has been taken down by the DOJ and is stepping down from his leadership role at Binance. Sam Bankman Freed is in prison and we know that Coinbase has followed the rules of the road meticulously taking the tortoise not the hare approach and I believe that they are in a position to become the shining star of the crypto industry. So to me if this bull run keeps going Coinbase should hit new highs and that's why to me a 5x here on Coinbase stock feels like a pretty safe place to estimate the returns on this particular gem. But again, once it hits price discovery, who knows what could happen? And I want to be very clear here. When we look at Bitcoin, here's where we're at. We've had this explosive growth here, this explosive break of the 32K level. But if you look here, the 32K level is a massive level in between this and 37K. We stayed in the level between 25 and 32K for months and months and months. So maybe, just maybe, we range here for a little bit longer. I don't know what's going to happen. But what I can say is once we break through this level, it is going to absolutely rock it. And to me, that is the final boss of this bear market to say, hey, look, we are firmly in a very bullish posturing, and this is where coins will absolutely be ripping. If we break below 32K and we go significantly below there, then we're going to see this entire market on fire, hats on fire, everyone's bleeding money, altcoins get absolutely smashed, minus 50, minus 70%. No one is safe if Bitcoin runs out of gas. That's how this market works. So just understand, all of this bull thesis is predicated 
on Bitcoin continuing to crush it to the upside. Now, the rest of my portfolio, the thing that you're here for, these small baby coins that could pump 10, 20, 30, 50, 100x or more, these are broken down into narratives. What you must understand is that the way assets trade is partly due to tech. It's partly due to partnerships and revenue. But it's almost all down to the stories we tell each other about these coins, the narrative, the belief in something massive. Think about Tesla. It's worth more than every car company combined, and it's not because of their sales or the quality of their cars. It's because of the story of Tesla revolutionizing the automaker world, creating new battery technology, and effectively transitioning us away from fossil fuels as a society. It's a massive, world-changing, intergalactic mission, and that's why people bet on Tesla as this massive play. It's not about how many roadsters they sell each quarter. And so when you look at crypto, it's the same way. The bigger the story, the sexier and the more relevant the story, the more attention and the higher the price goes on those assets. So we've broken down these buckets into the different stories that can be told about them because that's what diversification is in crypto. You're not diversified if you hold only Ethereum competitors. You're not diversified if you hold only AI coins. They're most likely going to perform similarly throughout the bull run and we'll explain why. But for the most part, these are the stories that are most prominent and most talked about this cycle. These are the zero infinity buckets. And we're going to go through each one and why I've allocated the percents I've allocated and how much I've deployed and why I've deployed these percents. This is one of the most important things that you can learn in trading these markets is understanding the stories, why they are so hot, why people invest in these stories and how you can get ahead of them by understanding this trick of the markets. First of all, smart contracts platforms. This is the easiest niche because these are the big ones, the Ethereum killers, the ones that are like Ethereum. And these reach the highest valuations because people build stuff on top of them. And Ethereum being the only coin to make a real run at Bitcoin, well, there's no bigger narrative in the entire space than smart contracts. Now, in the smart contract niche, I have Chainlink, which is absolutely a monster project. What Chainlink has been doing with the CCIP, the cross-chain interoperability protocol, is absolutely mind-bending stuff. There is a potential that this will be one of the most mainstream adopted protocols for traditional finance, as well as decentralized finance. And for that reason, Chainlink, you could see price points of well over $100 for Chainlink in this bull run. It's already the number 13 coin, but to me, Stinky Link will always have a place in any smart contract portfolio. The next one that I actually have the most allocated to after Solana is Avalanche. And that's because there's a lot of muscle memory in the charts here. Avalanche is pretty clearly the next in line to Solana when it comes to fast, scalable ETH killers. And it's got a lot of reasons to like it. There's a ton of development. What was interesting is that it almost chased Solana perfectly. It was down almost the exact same percentage on the chart. You can see it's down about 86% right now. It was down almost the exact same percentage as Solana throughout the entire bear market. Obviously, Solana has gone an absolute ripper down about 76%. But Avalanche has a massive all-time high here. It's almost 10x just to get back to its all-time high. And that's why I was buying it at the lows. I think that Avalanche will do well whenever smart contracts specifically Solana, whenever it rips, I think Avalanche will play catch up. They also have a ton of games on there. And as you know, I am obsessed with crypto gaming, but more on that later. The next one that's been absolutely cooking is Injective. Injective is arguably, I think it's maybe the best performing asset of 2023. You can see it started 2023 at around a dollar and it cooked all the way up to almost $20. Its all-time high was $24. So as you can see, it's one of the few coins to almost make it back up to its all-time peak. It's over several of its prior local peaks. And this is just an insane chart. And so Injective, what you see in it is continued strength. And it's also much smaller at 1.3 billion than something like Avalanche, which is sitting at 7 billion. And of course, Solana is sitting at 23 billion. So comparatively, Injective is small. However, it's not a small coin. Again, the great part about smart contract platforms is that it's pretty easy to find winners. They have a ton of strength, a ton of followers, huge support, but you're just not gonna get these 100Xs because they're so big as market caps to begin with. But if you see coins, instead of seeing them like, oh, it's already up, it must come down, see them like prize fighters. The coins that keep winning, you wanna expect them to keep winning. When a prize fighter is 47 and 0, you don't expect them to step in and get knocked out. You expect them to come in and crush with an even bigger win. And as long as the market continues to grow, the prize fighters leading the race will continue to lead the race and have massive upside. That's why Injective is one to have on your radar. The next one is Celestia. This is like a layer zero play. Effectively, they're an interoperability protocol. A lot of the very smart people in this industry, the giga nerds, love this thing. And what I like about Celestia is they actually launched for such an ambitious project 
at a very low market cap. It was only 300 million, which Solana started uh, the last bull market at around 100 million. You actually could get it at 80 million. Most layer ones and layer zeros in these big hyped chains start at like over a billion dollar valuation. And that just doesn't leave much room for upside. Whereas Celestia was smart and they came in with this lower val. Obviously now they're cooking at almost a billion. But if this thing starts coming down, I wouldn't be surprised to see Celestia be a very strong contender. It's one of my hot picks for this bull run in the smart contract category. The next one, as you can see, this chart is absolutely disgusting. It literally doesn't even dip barely. You can see this is one of the most bullish charts and this is Caspa. Again, another layer one. And you can see it's had this kind of almost blow off toppy kind of thing here. Who knows if it's actually gonna blow off, but you can see it did something similar right down here. It came way down and then it just went on another run. This is the kind of chart that just screams bullish. Again, see it as a prize fighter. And this is an interesting layer one tech. If the market keeps growing, Caspa should have some good days ahead. Obviously, when you see something go this vertical, there's probably gonna be a cool off. So dips are for adding to things like Caspa. Again, there are tons of layer one coins that are good. There are tons of smart contract platforms that are good. And in general, these are the coins that VCs come and pour money into. Once Bitcoin hits a new all time high and crypto's all the rage, you're gonna see massive funds get spun up and they're gonna inject money like you've never seen into the hot trending smart contracts platforms because that's just how it goes. The big VCs pump money into these smart contract plays. And that's how they get these staggering valuations. That's how Solana got the $100 billion valuation that it had last bull run. Now, I just wanna pop in and give you guys an amazing Black Friday deal here. And that is on none other than NordVPN, which as you know, is the sponsor of this channel. In 2023, I was the victim of a hack. This was one of the most traumatic experiences of my entire life. And since then, I religiously use NordVPN with threat protection. It is the best product in the space by a landslide. Nobody compares to NordVPN and they also have threat protection, which protects your data from being leaked, which was the reason why I got hacked. Please, if you're a crypto user in 2023 or 2024, and you're not using NordVPN, then you are effectively putting yourself on a list of potential attacked targets. There's no reason to do that. You should literally always be using a VPN. And best of all, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. It's literally $3 a month and you can get your money back if you don't like it. If you are too cheap to get a NordVPN to protect yourself in this industry, then you are screwing up on an intergalactic level. So I urge you, get NordVPN and you can get a big, fat, juicy discount by using the link in the description below. You can make a lot of mistakes in crypto, but not using a VPN is one that you will not be forgiven for. Anyway, back to the video. All right, now let's get real. I know this is what you're here for. You guys know that I have been the most vocal crypto gaming bull for the last six years, first starting in 2018, and now coming into 2024, nothing's changed. I remain so bullish on crypto gaming. It's where I spend all my time focusing my research and focusing my own projects. And I have multiple projects I founded in the space and continue to work on aggressively to this day. And they are finally assuming the shape that I've been pushing them to for so long. The opportunity for crypto gaming is enormous. And this is the story that is going to hit the mainstream Stream. Because once we get our first crypto gaming hit, and by the way, I made a crypto gaming investing Bible a few weeks ago, and I highly suggest you check it out. It's got about 170,000 views, absolutely went crazy. And that's what inspired me to do a ton more deep dive content. It even got my buddy Alex Becker back in the game here, pushing crypto gaming because he realized that it was time to start taking it seriously again. And here's some perspective for you. If you look at all of crypto gaming, it's $13 billion in total market cap. 13 billion in the entire space. And look at Doge. Doge hit $70 billion in market cap in the last bull run. That's one coin is worth 7X, 6X, this entire space of crypto gaming, which is gonna revolutionize the internet, in my opinion, as we know it. This is how early you are. This is how early you are. Similar tweet from me. I said, remember this, crypto gaming is a mainstream slash normie narrative. Mainstream and normal people will love crypto gaming. It's so easy to understand. They don't understand ZK tech. They don't understand Injective and Celestia and Chainlink. They don't understand this tech. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. They don't care. They wanna see something that's simple to understand and root for it. And that's where gaming is gonna come in because it's 10,000 times easier to understand. And here's the best part. Normies are not here yet. Crypto has not crossed into being a normal topic again around normie users, around mainstream users, but it will if this bull run continues. And that's when gaming will begin an absolute warpath. But it hasn't started yet. It hasn't started yet. I'm gonna like this just because I like this tweet. This is the spirit of the work that I've been doing here. And before I get into coins that I believe are gonna perform well here, I wanna mention the projects I've been building. Because if you follow this channel, you know that I've been building what I believe is the future of this industry. And that is two core projects, which is Neo Tokyo, in Superverse. And within Superverse, there's Imposters, which is the game of the Superverse. And as the market has started to come to life, 
these projects have sprung back to life. In just the last few weeks, we've seen literally almost every founder in the crypto gaming space join Neo Tokyo, which is the vision, the crypto gaming Illuminati. We've seen Seedify Fund, we've seen Sidus, we've seen Illuvium, we've seen Animoca Brands, we've seen the Treeverse, Nakamoto Games, Shrapnel, Vulcan Forged, Altura, Pixels Online, Merit Circle, Sinverse, Wagme Game, and literally just so much more. Without a doubt, this has become the exclusive networking club of the crypto gaming industry, exactly as we had planned it, which is a resource for the entire gaming space. And as founders have joined, the excitement to be a part of this has exploded. And you can see here, citizens are not wanting to let new people in as the actual entry price to get into the club has exploded here. And this just shows you when you have a clear vision to why an NFT exists, that it's just about executing on that vision. The vision of Neo Tokyo has always been that it wants to support the crypto gaming movement. So during the bear, when no one was really interested in crypto gaming, it wasn't very interesting to the larger public, but the project never veered from its commitments. And that's why it's doing so well today. And next we have Superverse, which has been on an absolute warpath as well. Explosive, explosive with new excitement. And what's crazy is Superverse continues to ship incredible technology, including massive updates from its star, its core, Imposters, the social game at the core of Super's ecosystem. But there's something absolutely massive coming. Some Something that I'm so excited to reveal to this community. And that is the evolution of Super and where it's headed. It's something that I'm not going to reveal yet on today's episode, but understand that Super is making a transition to just a single DAO with its own products to an ecosystem that is built to support the entire gaming movement. And it's going to be one of the most exciting rollouts that I've been planning now for what feels like forever. That will be announced here in the new year, and I couldn't be more excited to bring this to you. So if you've been rooting for the Super ecosystem this whole time, just know the team has been heads down cranking like no other for literally years to build the future of crypto gaming. And we couldn't be more excited to present to you that vision very shortly. And the excitement is pouring over not only for Super, not only for Neo Tokyo, but also for imposters, the lead game from this ecosystem, which also looks very nice of late. Again, I wanna be very clear. I can't predict prices or talk about prices really as a founder here. There's a lot of limitations to what I can say. I'm just sharing with you that a lot of people have gotten super excited about Super, about Neo Tokyo, about imposters over the last few weeks. These are where I'm gonna be putting the max amount of effort and energy for the rest of the bull run. Just understand that. So with that said, let's get back into this. Let's look again at the breakdown because we have smart contracts platforms with 35% of my zero infinity bucket. This is the easiest difficulty rating and I'm about 50% deployed. Meaning I have quite a bit of cash on the sidelines. Now gaming, I have about 30% of my bucket, but I have 150% deployed because everything has gone absolutely bananas up since I started deploying into this bucket. Now that said, it is what I consider the hardest bucket, which is why you really need to do your research, which is why groups like Neo Tokyo are exploding, which are you know essentially people sharing research and collectively learning from each other, which is why you should be seeking out as many friends and groups to research this industry with as you can. Alpha groups and good group chats are going to be the most amazing resource for you. My goal is just to share with you my mindset, but I hope that you apply this mindset to understanding the other projects in the space and pushing to find your own gems before a channel like mine covers them. Because then you're just getting into something that hundreds of thousands of people are seeing at the same time as you. It's not early alpha if you see it on LEO Trades, even if I'm one of the first channels covering stuff as I've been known to do over the years. So I actually have some more cash on the side to deploy to gaming, but the reality is that this bucket has cooked and I'm very, very well allocated to gaming. Again, check out my gaming video because it has a full in-depth 41 minute breakdown just on gaming and I'll be doing a lot more of that style content. But to go through quickly here, I want to show you. We have Alluvium, we were covering this about 40 bucks or so, has absolutely gone bananas here since we covered it. This is one of the top games in the space. And I want to be clear, we want to be rooting for all these games. As soon as one game succeeds, the chance of another game succeeding is astronomically more likely. That's why I hope we can push at least one game to massive success here in this new crypto run and it will break the stigmas. It will convert millions and millions millions of people into crypto holders and crypto gamers, and it'll move the entire industry forward. So Alluvium should be coming out with their game pretty soon. They're gonna be one of the first AAA games to hit from this industry, and we should all be rooting for them. And that's why they're going absolutely bananas on the charts. We also have Immutable. I told you this was my top infrastructure play, Immutable X. We were covering them all throughout the bear market, 40 cents, 30 cents, 60 cents. This thing has gone absolutely bananas. I am an investor, a seed investor in Immutable X. I hold tokens in every project that I'm covering here, just to be very clear, but I'm a, I'm a seed investor in Immutable X and I've never sold a single token. I'm a very big fan of what they do. Check out my full review on them in the previous video. We also have Echelon Prime. 
This is one of the hottest and also one of the smaller games. We can see here it's at 200 mil instead of, you know, a billion or something massive like that. This game is absolutely cooking. It's fully shipped. You can play it now, and I highly suggest you check it out. Very sick game in the space. We also have Merit Circle, which became Beam. They did a one to 100 split. So Beam is actually, if we go up here, we can see here is a, a cheaper price. They moved the decimal here. Uh, but this is a full infrastructure play as well. They have a DAO that's made investments. They have their own subnet on AVAX, and they have a bunch of really sick stuff in the pipe. I'm a Beam investor as well as a Beam bull. I think that the infrastructure in the gaming sector is going to do very, very well. And it's a simple way to allocate to this ecosystem. Things like Immutable X, Beam, Gala, and another project called Ready Games, which is not yet listed, but I am investing in that as well. Those are all incredible diversified bets into gaming. Another one is Sidus. I mean, this one we covered here, this was one of the craziest explosions. We covered this thing on the 28th of October here at 0.0008 or nine. This thing is up seven or eight X since we covered it. And they've just been building their head off. They just burned like a huge amount of their supply. So shout out to Sidus. Uh, they actually sponsored the last episode. They didn't sponsor this one though. Just watching them cook is absolutely crazy. They have a lot of cool stuff they're developing. We'll go more into them on the next episode. Look, I could go on and on for games. The point is that understanding the game stuff, going into my previous deep dive on gaming, understanding this is a niche that I care about. It's the one I'm most focused on, the one I'm building in. So I'm putting the most focus on it and the most energy into it because I understand it the best. There are going to be tons of things that pump in crypto, but if you spread yourself too thin, you'll never catch the big winners because you're not specialized enough in that particular niche. You need to get deep into a niche and understand it so that you can get ahead and actually find the killers within that niche. And speaking of another niche that is absolutely going to have massive wins, we must talk about AI. You see, AI coins are undoubtedly going to be a massive part of this bull run. And that's because AI is a massive part of what's happening in our everyday lives. If you look at the charts, when ChatGPT was released, AI coins went bananas. And then we recently saw this saga with OpenAI having this hiring, firing, this everyone beheading each other and backstabbing and betraying each other. Well, the one thing is clear. AI is the hottest technology of the time besides crypto and it is going to continually make news in the mainstream. And every time it does that, it's going to drive huge amounts of visibility, chatter, and excitement, which are the ingredients to making a narrative exciting. Understanding that story and narrative are how assets get valued and priced. Understanding that crypto gaming, I expect to have explosive user growth at some point whenever we get this hit game, and that's going to be a hugely hot story. Understanding that the other hot story is the rise of AI, and that is going to propel AI coins to astronomical highs whenever there is news in AI, which if you think over a two-year time horizon, you're bound to have some massive, massive hot moments for AI. So let's talk here about AI coins. So when you look down the AI coins, it's actually not hard to find very good ones. I mean, most of the ones at the top of the list are actually pretty solid. And what you can see here is over the last seven days, we've seen AI coins go on a rampage because of course, there was this massive thing with OpenAI. Now I'll share with you, my favorite coins in the space are BitTensor and Akash. I actually have an Akash validator, which I encourage you guys to check it out and delegate your coins to. It's a new validator that I just set up. So check it out and make sure you redelegate your coins to the new validator, which just shows you how much I believe in this particular ecosystem. You can see Akash here. It's gone through these insane spurts of excitement and these blasts of excitement here in 2023 have everything to do with AI making big news across. You can see here at the beginning of the year when ChatGPT was all the rage, it went on this massive run. Then we can see we had another moment of AI excitement here in August, and then boom, we got this open AI saga, and you can see it exploded again. Anyway, I think Akash is fantastic. They effectively allow you to rent out compute space like Airbnb for Nvidia chips, and it's a fully fledged marketplace for compute power, which is of course the resource that drives the whole AI movement. So effectively you're getting this decentralized compute power thing, which of course should be in extreme high demand as AI becomes more of a hot topic. And as far as I understand, they are very far ahead in this race for this decentralized compute network. Now the other one is BitTensor. Now I will say BitTensor is this like super crazy looking project and they've modeled everything. If you can look their white paper, if you're familiar with the Bitcoin white paper, this looks exactly like the Bitcoin white paper. It's formatted just like the Bitcoin white paper. And effectively they have this emission schedule that is exactly matching Bitcoin. So with the name BitTensor and their structure on how they're doing a peer-to-peer -peer intelligence market, remember Bitcoin's uh, headline was a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system here. And this just shows they see themselves as the Bitcoin of AI. Now, I'll be honest, I don't fully understand BitTensor, but what you can see is out of nowhere, this coin goes, and you can see this market cap, I'll just show you in market cap. This coin goes 
literally to the moon. I mean, it actually doesn't show the, the full gradual uh, increase in market cap, but you can see this thing went from about $40, $50, and it just didn't take a break all the way up to literally $300. I mean, it's it's almost insane. You never see stuff like this. And it would make sense if it was a small market cap, but look at this thing. This thing's at $1.3 billion market cap, and it's barely taking a break. It barely wants to come down. So look, as soon as this thing comes down, I'll try to get a position in it, but it's just been too hot to, to handle. Again, we don't know how big the AI bubble could get, but I wouldn't be shocked to see some AI coins make their way towards the top 20, maybe even the top 10. Because if you think about it, AI is the biggest, most impressive technology of our time. It could revolutionize everything as we know it. And therefore, seeing AI and crypto mix and produce some of the biggest gainers in the world, well, that's not far-fetched. So that's the thing is we don't know how big these top coins could go. I mean, I personally love Akash and everything they do. I've been actually holding Akash since early 2021. It's one of my favorite projects in the space, and I've never sold an AKT token. But I will say, as you look down this list, there will be a ton of coins, and I actually hold a bunch of lower value AI tokens, and they pump like mad whenever AI gets hot. So just know this is a kind of meme-like space where you can see some of these tokens that use AI as a brand will have massive upside and it's worth poking around in this particular sector, I think, because you could see some massive wins. And I wouldn't be shocked again to see, you would see the biggest AI token is 46 in the market caps. Uh, Akash is not even on page one. You could see some of these tokens end up going on mad runs. And look, you guys have probably noticed I have a category here for meme tokens. And that's just because I'm a big believer that as the market grows and as normies flock back, the market actually gets a lot dumber. It doesn't get smarter. When normies come in, they buy dumb stuff, unfortunately, because it's easy for them to understand. They don't feel like they need to just deep dive and have a math degree to understand this stuff. So with that said, meme coins are most likely gonna have a massive upside, but it is the hardest, right? You're most likely gonna buy a meme coin that goes to zero. However, there are two meme coins that have shown tremendous potential this cycle. And quite simply, they are Pepe and Bonk. Bonk is the Solana one and Pepe is the Ethereum one. And I don't know what's gonna happen here, but these are the two that I hold positions in. They could go to zero. I'm making absolutely no guarantees here, but looking at Doge and SHIB holding such massive market caps, it's undeniable that some meme coins will eventually get popular and the normies that flood in will be like, oh yeah, it's a dog, buy the dog. Oh yeah, it's a frog, buy the frog, whatever. It's so easy to understand. It's so simple and people can cheer for them like sports teams. Go dog, go frog, go bonk, go whatever. And that's that's all they really want. So it becomes like a simple play that is easy to jump in and root for. And that's why people do it. So to be clear, this is literally like 1% of my overall portfolio. If this goes to utter zero, absolute zero, I'm totally fine with it because I just don't care, right? It's just my gambling money. This is my casino money. But I used to be such an elitist, like, oh, I hate the meme coins. Oh, they're so bad. They need to go to zero. So invest in our hardcore technology, changing the world. And now I'm just a little bit more open-minded because as Ivan says, you have to respect the pump. Respect the pump. And meme coins, pump like crazy when they do pump. And so I'm expecting that there will be some meme coins that pump. And instead of being angry about it, hey, look, I'm just putting a few chips on the table and seeing what happens. Again, most memes will go to zero. Most people will buy, most people will lose money in memes, but I'm just sharing with you my strategies. You don't have to do this. Again, please don't just follow my strategies. Think for yourself here, people, and understand this is a risky game and we're all gambling for our futures. Speaking of which, you must remember that Bitcoin is here trying to get through this resistance at 38K. And if it doesn't, it could easily come down and revisit this 32K level. It could even break down below here. We don't know what's gonna happen, but if it does break through, altcoins are going to absolutely rip. And that's the situation that we should all be understanding and preparing for. I'm willing to lose 50, 60, 70% of my investment seeing this stuff go down, even buying lower. Remember, I have plenty of cash on the sidelines here, plenty of cash ready to buy if there are dips. And I'm willing and accepting the risks. Understand, we are gambling for our futures. This is not a guaranteed payout. No one owes you financial freedom. No one owes you wealth. The world does not owe you anything. But if you understand this market well enough, as I believe I've proven I do, with incredible calls on the pivot to being bullish back in March of 2023. But if you look at my videos in January, I told you guys I started buying in January, just a lot smaller. And this is just because I've played these markets now for six years and you start seeing patterns. Over time, people make money in crypto, but it doesn't happen overnight. You need to understand when to hold them and when to fold them. And right now we're at this pivotal moment where if Bitcoin starts ripping up it could mean that we're starting the biggest bull run of all time. There's no guarantees here, but these are some coins that I'm throwing my chips down on. My biggest focus is building. I'm focused on Neo Tokyo, Superverse, and Imposters. They're in my Twitter bio. 
and I love making videos for this community here. So please understand the risks, understand the upside, and understand why coins get the valuation that they get. It's all about the stories, the narrative, and understanding that they move together. When one story is hot, a lot of coins in that category will move, and when the coins are not, they won't. I hope this video has been helpful, and if it has, you know what to do, guys. This has been an absolute Bible. I'm looking at this almost an hour of a raw file here. I don't know how long it's gonna be when we actually cut it up. If you guys got value out of this, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, as we're gonna be bringing you the absolute best content in the space, helping you get ahead and stay ahead of this market. Nobody's doing it like us. I think when you look at the work we've done here on this channel, I'm extremely proud of getting ahead, having the right instincts, and investing in the right sectors at the right time, and I'll continue to do my best for you all. With that said, check out this video. It's the gaming video I told you about. It's popping up right now, and it'll help you understand on a very deep level the crypto gaming space. As always, I'm Elio Trades. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.